All right, just let me see how you are looking at me. Oh, handsome guy. All right, so let's do the to-do, okay? The styles. So uh, before that, let me commit the previous video. What is the name of the video? I just recorded it. Desktop. Coding the UE part one. As you can see, this is not prepared. I'm just live coding here. All right, done. All right, so now we are going to uh, do the input, okay? So the input name is input. Wow, super smart. Okay, so we go outside of cart. All right, input. Input is gonna be super simple. I'm gonna give it a padding, all right, of 20. So it becomes a little bit more, there we go, there we go. All right, awesome. And now I'm going to give it a border bottom color of my favorite gray color. As you can see, as you know, I keep using this color everywhere. Border bottom, show me the border bottom, baby. Not yet because I don't have a border bottom width. And thankfully, our style sheet object has some nice hairline width. Wow. Maybe two. Too tiny let's give it a one yeah better that's one that's better all right but this is too small so i want to say font size 25 nice and refresh because it looks kind of fucked let's see there we go and yes, we can type on it, but we are not controlling the value. So let's create the state for the value. I will say state equals a new to do. Okay, and I'm going to create a new function called control new to do. And this will be text. All right, because it gets the text from the event, All right? Control new to do. Is it control like this? Yeah, control. All right. And here, all I have to say is this set state new to do equals text. That's all I've got to do. But I have to give the value to the to do also. New to do. I will get it from the state. All right. And here, text input. What the fuck happened? This is not an object. What? 34. This set state. Need to do equals text. Hm. Need to do value. I don't know why that, that, that error happened. Value. New to do. And on change text. We're going to call the function this that control new to do all right so let's refresh nice so we have the style the placeholder the unchanged text now i want to change the placeholder text i would say place placeholder text color equals 999 not much difference but i like it uh what else I am going to do also, let me just show you the hardware keyboard, toggle software keyboard. All right. So now instead of intro, I want to change this key to uh, done. All right. Done. So I will say return key type. And this is a done. So let's see. Refresh. done or aceptar in my native language beautiful and now if i type it works now what i'm trying to look for is an autocorrect in this case it's not autocorrecting me like hello all right but I don't want it to, oh, there is autocorrection because sometimes I don't want it. So I'll say autocorrect false. All right. Perfect. Nice. All right. Accept that. Nice. This, all right. So 
we have our, our text input placeholder value unchanged text autocorrect and return key type also we are good to go nice all right so because we're doing styles we're not doing um the like we're not doing the thing yet like the the logic yet because i want to finish the styles and then do the logic so what is going to happen next is that we're going to create the to-do element how many minutes on this we're going to create the to-do element and we are going to create a list here a list here that will have all the to-dos uh ready for us all right so and uh, we're going to be able to scroll and the new to-do is going to stay at the top so to start doing this next to the text input i'm going to open something called a scroll view all right nice but here i want to i want to render a stupid to do but to do this <laughs> to do this i will do new file to do that js all right because this is the to do that i'm going to render i don't want to put the to do here also so i want to keep it a little bit small because this is going to get big all right so for the to do i'm going to import react from react and now const to do Oh, no, con, sorry. We're going to create a, a full component class to do extends react component render. And here we're going to render some stuff. All right. You will ask me, Nicolas, why a, a class component? Why not an stateless component? Well, this is because when somebody clicks on edit the to do, we're going to change the state to editing. Editing. All right. So that's why we need a uh, a stateful component, a class component. I don't like this so much. So, done. All right. Of course, an error. Don't worry about it. Uh, export default class. And here, import and all that stuff. View. I want to import text. I also think I need buttons. Touchable opacity. I also need view text touchable opacity style sheet from React Native. Wow. Here I'm gonna create a styles style sheet that create as always. This is the same routine that we always do. And here I will create a view. Here text, and the text will say hello. I am a to do. All right, and here I'm going to import it on my app.js. Let me close this thing. Boom. Import to do from to do. All right, and my scroll view is going to have one to do. To do. Let's see. Refresh. Uh, error here return you always have to return return the element always return 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 how many minutes oh eight minutes we are good to go all right hello i am a to do and as you can see here it's inside of our scroll view check it out, check it out. boom 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 all right so that's it for this video i will see you on the next video where we are going to style our nice to do uh component see you there bye bye